Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson and today we're fully exploring the intricacies of one of the most legendary moves in all of Kung Fu Panda's China, the Wuxi Finger Hold. The reality is that this technique is much more complex than I ever initially believed it to be. The origin of the move, how it works, and the ramifications of it being used are not all extremely clear at first, and Poe struggled to see that. The Wuxi Finger Hold? It's my best move. Now, of course, the Wuxi Finger Hold is well known throughout the world because it has brought fear to Kung Fu warriors across centuries. The Dragon Warrior was brought to his knees at the mere sight of Shifu holding him in the proper grip. Tai Lung's nephew, Peng, was disturbed to see the hold set up against him after he discovered Po had been the one to defeat his uncle. And the alchemist Lao Shu, who served an ancient evil warrior known as Jin Dao, gave away her master's secrets when she was threatened with the Qi-powered move. Every mortal would bend to the Wuxi Finger Hold's mighty power, even though for many years Kung Fu Masters didn't even believe the move to be real. You see, after the release of the original Kung Fu Panda movie, in a 2008 article by Scholastic, they interviewed Po and he revealed that it was only after he beat Tai Lung that Shifu explained that there was never actually a move that was developed around the Wuxi Finger Hold, or so they thought. It was originally just believed to be made up by masters to scare their students. The technique purely existed as a legend, which is why Shifu's description around the destruction caused by the move differed so greatly from how it behaved in the real world. The hardest part is cleaning up afterwards. Shifu tried to make it seem like a warrior's body would explode by the hold, but there was no mess when Tai Lung was skadooshed. In actuality, we see in Kung Fu Panda 3 that the Wuxi Finger Hold completely removes a being from the mortal world and releases them into the spirit realm. But Shifu didn't know that, because the truth is that when Po was faced with an epic battle, he developed the Wuxi Finger Hold on his own, which would explain why Tai Lung is so mesmerized when Po reveals the move. You're bluffing! She Shifu didn't teach you that. Nope. I figured it out. The Wuxi Finger Hold seemed to have been a silly kung fu ghost story before it was truly unleashed upon the world, and it appeared Po had actually discovered the move, but when the Dragon Warrior faced off against Kai, it's revealed that of course the great master Ugwe had understood how to use the Wuxi Finger Hold during the time when he was brothers in arms with Kai. Did Ugwe teach you that little trick? Kai recognized the move as an ability used by his late friend, so in fact the Wuxi Finger Hold had been in existence for literally hundreds of years, but it's unclear who actually discovered the hold since Ugwe had not taken credit for its discovery. Well, you know this hold developed by Master Wuxi in the Third Dynasty, yes. It's hard to know what was made up by the Kung Fu Masters to scare their pupils and the true history, but regardless, the Wuxi Finger Hold was not passed down by Ugwe, likely because it was not an easy move to master since it utilized Qi. Remember, in Kung Fu Panda 3, Shifu even admits he would need many more decades in a meditative state before he mastered Qi, which is wild since he was master of the Jade Palace. True master of Qi. Like you! Me? I could barely make a flower bloom. And even after Poe used the hold, he admitted in his interview he would need to remember how he did it and practice some more, which makes sense. He hadn't even been introduced to Qi yet in his training. In the realm of Qi mastery though, the Wuxi finger hold was a lot simpler to execute compared to other moves, but I'll explain more about that later. We need to instead focus on understanding what the Wuxi finger hold actually does. You see, in my video about how masters are able to travel between the mortal and spirit realms, I tried to understand how the hold works. Skadoosh. While I originally believed the Wuxi Finger Hold completely obliterated beings from existence when it was first used on Tai Lung, in the Paws of Destiny, Po pulls a very similar move to the one he did on Kai to get Jin Dao into the spirit realm, which of course made no sense to me. What are you doing? A little move I like to call Skadoosh. I thought the Wuxi Finger Hold could only skadoosh people who had never died. Gotta send you back to the spirit realm. Skadoosh! Too bad. It only works on mortals. And I am a spirit warrior. You see, in Kung Fu Panda 3, the Wuxi Finger Hold is declared to be a move that General Kai explains cannot interact with souls in the mortal world. When Kai returned to China, he was still in a mortal spirit because he was killed by Master Ugwe hundreds of years ago. Truly nothing could have stopped him while he fought mortals because he was already dead. A mortal body has to be present for the Wuxi Finger Hold to work. Even Po admitted earlier in the series that he believed when he visited the spirit realm originally that he had passed on. Is this the spirit realm? Am I dead? 
Again? But sure enough, Poe could Wuxi Finger hold himself again, even though he had already entered the spirit realm. So either the hold could work on spirit warriors if you were powerful enough like the dragon warrior, or the hold truly only transports mortals to the spirit realm and doesn't actually kill them. I mean, the fact that the chi orb that forms around a warrior when they're skadooshed also looks extremely similar to the chi orb that forms around Kai and Poe when they both left the spirit realm leads me to believe that the Wuxi Finger hold is just a way to move a mortal into the spirit realm. They use chi to cross between the barrier between realms. That means that Poe never actually died in Kung Fu Panda 3, which would also explain why there's still stakes in his existence years after his victory over Kai. The Dragon Warrior is not an immortal being yet, and that would also mean that Tai Lung may not actually be truly dead either. Now, if it's true that the Wuxi Finger Hold is one of many ways to utilize chi to go back and forth between the mortal and spirit realms, that would be fascinating because the amount of chi needed to cross over definitely differs depending on which realm you're within. When Poe first skadooshed Tai Lung, he hadn't even been introduced to chi yet through his training, while Kai spent 500 years collecting the chi of many kung fu masters before he was capable of returning to the mortal world, and he had already become a master of chi. Clearly, there was a different amount of training and chi required to cross the barrier between realms. It's a lot easier to enter the spirit realm than it is to return to the mortal world. World. The spirit realm is a place of great power. It would take an even greater power to find a way out. While of course the Wuxi Finger Hold was a difficult move to master, relatively speaking, it was exponentially easier to perform compared to any chi move that allowed a being to exit the spirit realm. That's probably why someone as powerful as the Dragon Warrior was able to execute the hold so early into his training, but required the assistance of all of his students to return to the mortal world. And that brings up an important point. Sure, the Wuxi Finger Hold is definitely Poe's most iconic and legendary move, but it's definitely not unstoppable or his most powerful ability. In fact, it's pretty limited in its capabilities, all things considered, especially when you compare it to the feats of other masters. Jin Dao could tear a hole in the spirit realm. The white bone demon could communicate to the mortal world even while she was dead. And Fang Huang discovered how to warp time and space with her mind. But early on in Poe's journey, the Wuxi finger hold was just what he needed to begin his path to become a Chi master. Fun people, thank you for watching and being such an awesome person. I absolutely love getting Getting the chance to dive into animated masterpieces like Kung Fu Panda. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. Finally, as always, have a magical day.